In this video, we'll look at permutations and how to do the indirect method. So suppose nine people are lining up for a picture, a period there. How many arrangements are possible if Michelle and Eli must not be together? That's the key. Well, it's going to be really hard to think of all the ways that Michelle and Eli could not be together. It could be Michelle, then two people, and then Eli, or Michelle, then three people, then Eli, Michelle, then four people, then Eli. And how do we know there could be people before Michelle and people after Eli? It turns out there's tons and tons of possibilities. It would be better to do the indirect method. We're going to look at the total possibilities minus the ways that they are together. Well, we'll write that out in steps. First, I'm going to calculate the total possibilities. Let's say there were no restrictions. If you could just order everyone and not worry about Michelle and Eli, there are nine people lining up. There would be nine factorial ways to arrange them. Now on your calculator, you can calculate what's nine factorial, and you get 362,880. That's the total number of unrestricted ways. Okay. Now, suppose Michelle and Eli are together. Let's just look at how many ways that can happen. You'd have Michelle and Eli moving together in all their possibilities, but as a pair. They're stuck as one unit, and that means there are seven other people. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people, plus the Michelle Elliott pair. Michelle and Elliot could be here at the beginning, or they could be there, or they could be in between there. There could be three people, then Michelle, Eli, and what you see is that they move as if they're one individual, as if they're one item, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other items. In other words, the number of ways that Michelle and Eli could be beside each other are eight factorial. So I'm going to write that ways Michelle beside Eli equals just eight factorial. That's Michelle here, Eli here, and then there's eight different ways, eight factorial ways to arrange those items. Michelle, Eli, Eli being, I think I called it Elliot. He's Eli. This is Michelle. There's eight factorial ways to arrange them as a pair within all the other people. What's eight factorial? Just use your calculator. And that's 40,320. Let's call that situation one. So that's one possibility except there's actually another possibility you could also have it be Eli's first then Michelle remember it's a lineup so it matters who's on the left and who's on the right you could have it like this where they're acting as a pair and then there's seven other people represented by these blanks one two three four five six seven and so it could be Eli and Michelle are here or it could be they're in between these two people or in between these two people and it could be any of those possibilities. Just like before, you have eight things to arrange and all of them can be arranged different ways. Each of these are individual people that could be arranged. So really what you just have is eight items. So it's, I'm gonna write ways Eli beside Michelle. And again, that's eight factorial, which of course is the same as last time, 40,320. So, now brings me to our final answer. If you want to put little arrows of how we flowed, we went to here, and then to here, and now here's our final answer. It's going to be the ways that they're not together equals their total number of ways, 9 factorial, which was 362,880, minus the 40,320 ways they're together when Michelle's first and take away another 40,320 ways they're together when Eli's first and now we just calculate that we could have even left it as factor factorial and probably saved some typing in the calculator here and just left this 9 factorial minus 8 factorial minus 8 factorial and then you avoid making typos like I almost just did Nonetheless, we get the answer, 282,240. And so, let's write our therefore statement. There are 282,240 ways 
or arrangements to arrange the people so Michelle and Eli are not together. We solved it. How did we do it? We used the indirect method. We saw there'd be way too many possibilities to try and count how many ways they couldn't be together. So instead, we thought about how many total ways could we arrange everyone, and then we just subtracted the two cases or two situations or two scenarios where they were together. And that gave us indirectly the number of ways that they were not together. That's the indirect method.